guys, it's Audrey, and today I am going to show you a little setup. I wanted to do a setup using this little Mommy Lay kit I got. It did come with two inserts, but I am going to put those to the side because I did pull in two So Much Crafting A6 inserts, which is like an A6 size, as you can see, fits perfectly. I also pulled in two Foxy Fix clear dashboards in the A6 size just because I prefer to use um, stuff like that. Um, like when it comes to dashboards, that's my preference. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of scoot everything to the side. I've never done a setup video before, so please excuse me while I struggle. Um, I usually set my TNs up like off camera. So first things first is I don't really love these like big old things, like little beads. So I'm actually going to remove them. I just went ahead and cut the, um, this like right up close to the little, um, what's it called? To the little tie area and I'm actually going to go ahead and just restring this just because I don't know I just don't love them they're a little clunky um you could totally in this case put a little charm on it that doesn't have like a lobster clasp or you can put one on like once it's all tied up so this is kind of more so set for one strap so I am going to tie this pretty tight and I'm going to use a jump band I have a lot of jump band like laying around the way they had it like pre-set up was that they were like way looser so you could use the middle one as a um, like insert holder as well or if you just want to use one insert which would be super cute I actually have a little I think it's a pocket that has like one insert that I'm well I'm, I ordered it and I'm going to use that just for listing in my purse just like a quick easy thing to grab and go and it's just literally just listing so I'm going to go ahead and trim this down and I'm going to go grab, actually I don't, I'm going to grab some string to restrap this. But as you can see, now it is very tight. There's nothing on the edges here. I think these are super cute. I actually have two other ones that I purchased from Mommy Lay who I wanted to say quickly, I love Mommy Lay. I think she is a class act um, and she's just overall a very sweet person. Um, I talked to her and she's just so sweet. So, um, and I've met her. So I did purchase this one, which is black with a really cute little pattern as well as this one here. And these are both from, I think, previous boxes. And I think she said she's sending me her next one as well. So if you guys want to see me do other things like this, let me know. I do have some other boxes that I would like to do like setup videos with, uh, just so you guys can kind of see like what you can do with them. And I think this one has like a ton of stuff that I can kind of play around. So I'm going to go grab a, another jump band, which this reminds me a lot of the like nice quality foxy fix bands and i'm also going to grab my paper cutter i know i had a pink one laying around somewhere but i don't know where it is so i just went ahead and got a white one like i said you could totally just use this as a one strap or like how she had it set up you could um just have it a little bit like looser and use it as two, but I just think putting a jump band would be easier. So I'm just going to take this, and this is a Foxy Fix jump band. You could tell they're like pretty much the same elastic. And I did trim this because it was, I think, I don't know actually what it came with if I needed to trim it, but I'm gonna go ahead and put this on here and then go ahead and put the other one underneath. Actually, don't, yeah, I have to do it underneath because I'm not putting anything over top of it. So you could also make this three by using the middle one as like an extra jump band. But there you go. And now you can fit two in there. So I'm going to go ahead and slip these in here. Just so I can see what I am working with. So we have that one. And then let's go ahead and move on and put this one in. And these are just by so much crafting. You can get inserts a lot of different places, um, but I just had these because I'm going to be switching my pocket over to an A6 and I needed inserts. So as you can see, it all fits perfectly in here, not too chunky or anything. Um, another thing that I wanted to do that I wanted to pull in was I wanted to put some adhesive pockets in and these are the ones that you can get at the tar Target dollar spot. They only come around in the beginning of the year for like teachers, but I wanted to go ahead and put one of these in. I don't know if I'm gonna put another one in the back, but maybe I will. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick this right in the front to use as a little pocket for decoration or obviously you can use it functionally. Now what I'm going to do, which seems a little like counterproductive, is I'm gonna like pull one of these guys out and I'm gonna put this aside 
And this is kind of how I do my setup. So I'm going to grab my paper cutter, which is a gigantic X-Acto one. I know you can get like smaller ones, but I like having like the numbers here. I know that there's definitely ways to do it and they have ones that like flip out, but I mean, I have room so it works that I can use this one. So I'm going to pull out the papers. These are all the papers that you get. Um, there's obviously like other cards and stuff that you can utilize, but I just think I'm going to use these papers. I think my favorites, I have four like papers I need to cut are probably, I like this girl, but she's facing this way, so I don't think I'm going to be able to use her if I want to be able to use this one, which I really do, so I think I'd rather use this, um, or can I do two? Actually, I think I could do two this way, and then I can get one, wait, is that going to work if I do the two this way? No, they'd be a little bit short. I can do two this way. Or I could do one with this one and then one with the girl. Eh, I'd rather do this one. And then I have this one here that I really like. And then I'll just use the inside patterns. That's the only... No, I think that works out. I think it's the only one that's, like, facing a really interesting way that you can't really, like, utilize both sides then. Um... I guess I will have the girl. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, I can. Okay, I don't know why I'm, like, saying anything. Okay, so if you had, like, a B6, this wouldn't work. But this works. Okay, I, I was, like, thinking, and I'm, like, this definitely works. I don't know why it, I'm, like, thinking it doesn't work. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead, and I, like, use my dashboard as a guide. Um, I don't know why. I just feel like it's, like, the easiest way to do things. And I go ahead and cut. So I don't have like exact measurements because I just kind of eyeball it because honestly I just don't care that much about like them being exact. So I usually just try and cut it a little bit shorter than the dashboard but not short enough. I'd rather be able to cut more off later than have to um, cut too much off and then not have any paper to use. So there's that and I think this should fit in here then. <gasps> Super cute. Okay. That's actually perfect. First try, I usually have to trim a little bit more, but that is adorable. So now what I'm going to do is I usually have some Simply Gilded Washi or something laying here. And it's actually four, so I don't even have to like use that. Usually I use this as like a little guide. So I'm just going to cut off four. Super cute. And then I have the girls on the back. So this is, for the A6, it's four by... Six and an, six and what is that? Six and one, two, three, four, six and five eighths, I guess it would be. So I'm going to keep those. So I have two of those, perfect size. So now I'm going to go ahead and cut my other paper. See, could I get two out of this? No, it'd be a little bit too short, but I mean, you could totally cut it this way. It's just the girls would be the wrong way. So I'm going to put that to the side. And then the other paper I really liked is this striped one. And I'm going to go ahead and cut this one again. So I can use these then as a little bit of a guide here. So I'm going to cut this here. And then I'm going to go ahead and cut the four inches. So the inside powder is my favorite. I'm not like a huge fan of llamas. I feel like it's like very trendy, but it's not my favorite, but I'm just gonna leave it because it just makes it a little easier where you could totally like cut extras and then do different papers like facing each way. I'm gonna move my paper cutter. So for example, if I didn't want to use one of these patterns, I could totally like double side it and put it in. But honestly, like it's not a big deal. And you could totally do different papers. So let's say I wanted to do one of these and then I wanted to go ahead and cut up this one. You totally could do that as well. This one's like super cute. Should I cut this one out? Because I think this would be adorable. I like this one better than the llama one. So I'm actually going to cut this real quick. I don't really know like what you guys prefer as far as like how I film these. Um, as far as like should I speed them up? Should I not speed them up? Should I talk through them? Honestly talking like... It sounds like it wouldn't be easier, but talking through things is easier than speeding them up most of the times. Because I feel like, especially with this, I would need to do a voiceover, and that just, like, becomes a pain in the butt, so. But really, I would do anything that you guys want me to do, so y'all let me know. I mean, to a point, obviously, I'll do anything you guys want me to. So, 
Now I have all of my papers, which you could get definitely a lot of papers using this kit because it comes with so many. And like I said, there's other parts that you could utilize as papers. And these are going to be like all extras for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and put those aside. I'll need to pull my paper cutter out to get some acetate going though. So I'm gonna go ahead and stuff my little inserts with um, the papers and you could do this in any like way you want to I prefer to put all the papers in first and then kind of see what I'm working with and then go ahead and add decorations I know a lot of people like doing them one at a time um so super cute right and then this is a good one to be able to layer things on top of so I like to pop them back in usually I have you know like four dashboards going and all these different inserts, but this one's only two, so it's not so crazy. And then you can go ahead and put these in. So I'm gonna put the girl facing it inside. Let's do this. It might also, you know what would be cute actually is if I did the stripes on the inside and them ending, but that's kind of cute actually. Let's just keep it this way. I really like this girl. She's super cute. I love Mommy Lay's girls. They're so like cartoony and like kind of kiddish, but like in the most adorable way. It reminds me very much of like a cartoon. So let's see. This one's tight. I'll probably just cut it a little bit too tall. No, it's perfect. Okay. So now I have my two dashboards. I mean, you could totally just leave it like this, um, but she does come break, give you a lot of other things. So I do have some vellum. Um, I don't know if I'm actually gonna put the vellum in. I think it'd be super cute, um, but I don't know. I might just put it in just to show you guys kind of what it looks like. And again, how I measure the vellum is I take one of these out. I have everything everywhere now. I'm just gonna start putting some stuff in the trash that I'm not gonna use. So how I measure the acetate and the vellums, which I'm gonna totally mess up and say the different names all over all the time, is I just go ahead and measure it the same way as I, and this is a more exact, so I just line it up exactly to fit over top of the dashboard. I remove it, I cut it, and then I move it this way. I always, like I said, have the theory that you should always cut off a little over if you're not like fully confident, um, and then cut more off later, just because, like I said, you can always, um, you can always cut off more later. You can't always put more back on. So then you have your little acetate and I need to trim mine just a smidge more. So I'm going to trim a little bit off each side. Nothing crazy, but like I said, way better to trim off more later than in the beginning. And then a little bit off the top. Acetate gets a little bit hard to cut. And then I'll use this one to measure out the other ones. But as you can see, that is perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the other acetate and measure this out. And I'll use this acetate to um, gauge how big it needs to be. So I'll still go ahead and put it in to make sure. You could totally just measure everything out and not do this whole ordeal of like how I do it by just eyeballing things. But... Personally, this isn't that bad. And then you fold this one. I guess there's no real white, right way on that one. And these are foil. I think her next one's some kind of like pajama themed, which is cute. And then just make sure that fits in there, which it does. And now I'm definitely done with this paper cutter for now. So then I do have a little bit of leftover acetate, but I, I don't have any purpose for this, so I'm gonna go put it in the trash. And then I'm going to go ahead and put these acetates in my planner. So again, it's a lot of like back and forth, but I think it's worth it in the end. So you have your acetate in there, which how cute does that look? I definitely think it was worth it. And then I could put this in here. And somebody made the point also, if you're taking this insert in and out, it's definitely better to have an acetate in here so you're not trying to like scoop this little um, string out from behind the papers. So this looks super cute. It kind of like gives your insert a little bit more of a decoration, even though I mean you do have the top part. So another thing that came in the kit that I'm probably not going to use are this pencil pouch. And this was all in my haul, a pen, this ginormous, um, what's it called? Little uh, clip thing. I'm just gonna put those all over off to the side because I'll use them for other things. 
Um, there are, there is a clip, so I'm gonna go ahead and put that in just so I can kind of like keep that in there and keep it in mind. I think that looks so cute with the little avocados peeking out. Um, there, let's go through, I like to go through and kind of see what I have. So there's a bunch of sticker sheets, which I don't think I'm gonna, these are more like, I think to use in the inserts rather than to use in the setup. There's a bunch of journaling cards. I probably won't use any of these just because I'm doing more of a simple setup, but these are like something I can put in my declutter pile for sure. I really like this card. I just don't know. I might be able to get it to fit on here actually. So I'm going to keep this. I don't think I'm going to use any, oh, I can use maybe some of the washi tape. Yeah, I'm going to use some of that. I kind of want to cut this down and like put it in somewhere as like a frame because this is really cute. You have the little notes with the llama. This would like stick out a little, but it would be really cute. That'd be really cute to put in a little pocket. Maybe I'll figure out how to do that. There's little stamps I don't think I'm going to use. And then there's a ton of die cuts, which I'm going to try and use some of them. So I feel like this would be the part where I should fast forward, but we're just going to truck on. So I think I'm gonna put in these notes in the back just because I think the little llama would be super cute popping out. So to do this, I'm just going to, I think, remove them. Yeah, I'm just gonna remove them from the little pad and I'm gonna grab another one of these Target Dollar Spot pockets and I'm going to put the little sticky note inside just so I could kind of line it up to how I per want it perfectly. So I'm gonna stuff it in there. And then I want the llama to peek out a little, I think. Do I? Yeah, so I want the llama to peek out a little, just a tiny bit. So I'm gonna line it up a little higher than I normally would. Look how cute that looks, a little llama popping out. Like I said, not a big fan of llamas, but that's cute. That's real cute. Also, if you didn't want this popping out, you could put it in here, which I might do, just so that I have just the llama popping out and then keep that in there. Um, let's see what kind of journaling cards I have. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the garbage. I'm not gonna use that. So I have a bunch of journaling cards. Um, I could, actually, what do I have? Maybe I'll use something to like back this area. Ooh, that actually fits perfect. So I might trim this down. So I'm gonna actually just use scissors to trim this just so I don't have to keep pulling up my little, um, I don't have to keep pulling up my paper cutter, so it's not gonna be perfect, but it'll be good enough. And I think I might just leave the Mommy Lay designs on the bottom, it doesn't really bother me. So I'm gonna put that in there as like a little bit of a backing. This probably won't be my best setup ever, just because, I you know, I'm just kind of playing around. Um, I'm gonna put this girl in here. Oh cool, that covers it up perfectly. Let me put that here. I kind of like it there. That's cute. Just very simple. I'm trying to go for simple for this. I do kind of want to put this girl in, but maybe I'll put her in here. So for this girl, I am actually going to pull out my paper trimmer, and I'm going to trim this out just, just in case I decide to use it. Okay. So how I normally trim things is if it has like a logo on it and I want to cut that off, I'll just kind of trim it out and just trim it a little bit and kind of see like what it looks like and then trim it a little bit more. So I could do some layering. And then for this girl, I kind of like to trim a, like the same amount off each side. So I try and use my little measurements on the side here and I usually try and cut off like a quarter of an inch at a time. Um, so, but then sometimes I cut off like a half an inch at a time depending to see if she fits then in here and she will fit perfectly so i guess i'll just kind of try on error like i just have a general idea of how everything's going to fit so i know i want to put the girl in and i think i want to put her in here so i'm actually just going to grab out a glue runner let's do this one and i'm going to take out this insert the whole thing actually i didn't have to ugh. I'm a nubby butt. Okay, hold on. Okay, so let me just take out the outside. Okay. 
So for this, I'm going to go ahead and pull out this one. And I'm going to leave a lot of these blank. You guys saw in my birthday setup. I like to leave things blank sometimes. And I'm just going to go ahead and put some of this sticky stick on there. And center her. So I have a little card there. And then I think on the front, I want to do something with one of these foiled journaling cards just because I really love the foil accents in this kit and I just want to kind of showcase those a little bit. Do I want to put in a little tape to make it look like it's taped on there? Because I was thinking that would look cute. Eh, it's a good idea, but I'm just going to leave it. I just want to overcomplicate things. This is kind of like a quick little like intro, I feel like, into the whole TN deal. I'm going to do the, no, I'm going to do the Live Love plan just because I already have the little avocado there. So again, just a little bit of glue roller. Do I want to put this in the background? Kind of do. Okay, so I'm going to do this. And I'm going to do this. And you don't really need a lot of glue, just the glue runner, just because you're not, I mean, it's going to be inside of these plastic pockets, so it's not like a real big deal. So I'm going to go ahead and stick this in. I don't know if I want to put any die cuts in. I haven't like really looked at any of them because I feel like those are really cute by themselves. I'm going to put that in. And then I think on this one I'm going to do the Better Together one, I think. Yeah, so I'm going to do the Better Together one on this one. Open this up. So I'm going to do the avocados. Obviously, I'm not going to use, like, everything in this kit. I think I want to grab some of that washi for this, though. So let's do... I really like the little wood grain. I think that's super cute. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this. And I'm just going to cut it... I'll just cut little pieces off. So I'll cut, like, a little piece this big. And stick it, like, on the corner. And then I'll grab another piece like around the same size and put it down here in this corner. And then trim these up. I was saying, I don't, I'm not going to use everything in this kit because I think it is like intended for like a full lawn setup, but this is just two little inserts. How cute is that? That's adorable. So I do have one more journaling card. I might have more, but I might have just misplaced them. This one says no prama llama, but I'm not, I don't think I'm going to use this one. I might turn it this way and then put one of the girls on here, maybe, or maybe a little cacti. Kind of make your own little journaling card. I like that. Do I like that? I think I do. So I'm going to go ahead and put the little die on here. So I'll put that up top a little bit and then I'll find a little, let's see, do the little guacamole one. Guacamole. Yeah, let's do it. What is going on? And put that kind of on a slant. Open this up. Getting a little hot. put the die cuts, cuts down by themselves, but I think this is really cute. I'm going to put that in. It's horrible. Okay. Another thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab another little die cut. Maybe I'll do the little taco and slip that in here. Oh, that's cute. I kind of like the way this looks so far. I like that it's like very clean, very simple. I could totally pull in more clips and stuff, but I just don't think it's necessary for this one. So I think that's everything that I'm going to do here. Like I said, this is just like a really quick, easy little setup for you guys. Um, just to kind of show you just something simple, like how quick was that? Like 20 minutes and I have a little setup. So here is the front. You could totally add a little bow or a charm on the side. Um, and then you could open it up and then I just have a quick little simple setup here Again, you can add more clips and tabs and stuff, but I just wanted to keep this simple So I have my first little dashboard a little piece of acetate 
another piece of acetate, and then you have another dashboard with the journaling card, another journaling card with some washi tape in the dashboard, another piece of that acetate, and then you have your back and your little note pocket, which I think is so cute. I like that the llama sticks out. This is pretty sturdy. This is kind of like adhesive together, so it will stay closed. You could add a pen loop if you wanted to, but like I said, I think this is super cute and adorable. So I hope you guys like this video. Let me know if you want to see quick, little, easy setups like this in the future. I know that there's obviously going to be a lot more kind of crazy in-depth setups, but I think it's kind of nice to throw in a couple little easier setups because I know TNs, like in the beginning, I was a little like, okay, I can't understand this. I can't get down with this because then you end up like me over here who's like crazy pants, like tons of things, super thick, loving it. But it is also achievable to do something simple and cute and just like adorably, like just what it needs to be. So that is everything. I wanna know like, do you guys wanna keep seeing things like this or do you guys just wanna see the full blown crazy? Let me know in the comments down below, but I really love this. Definitely check out Mommy Lay. She has cute little sub boxes like this. And I will talk to you guys in my next video.